Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Mary Shmobisha. I'm with you in the introduction session for MRCOG 1 2024. Welcome everyone. If my voice is clear for all of you, and if you can look at the screen which I have shared, we can start. Yes, Dr. Mavish, it's clear. Thank you. So we have new students in the new batch uh, with the hope that they will play the exam in 2024 uh, in the January. So first thing which I'm going to tell you is that welcome and welcome in the math exam expert. You have joined the regular course at a very appropriate time. Why this is the most appropriate time for joining a course and starting the study? Because if you are working, if you have kids and you have a life in which you can't make time for the study, this is how you prepare for the exams then. You take seven to eight months or at least six months for the preparation. So this is the right time for joining. In the phase one, you will prepare yourself for the, uh, for the daily study. You will, uh, you will make a habit that you will uh, study daily with us. You will attend the classes. They, they will be very short because at this time we want to save the energy for the actual study period, which is phase two. Phase two is actually the longest phase of our course. And in that phase, you will find subject wise live sessions and discussions on all the subjects which are important for MRCOG1. And then there will be a revision phase, which is the phase three. So in these three phases and all uh, this duration of the course, we will try covering everything, everything which is important for MRCOG 1. So I'm looking at, uh, thank you, doctor. I'm looking at the participants. We have Dr. Anjali, Dr. David, Dr. Somaya, Ali, and Ismat, Lopna, Najmo. Hello, Najmo. Dr. Rumi, Dr. Sabah Yasin, Sonia, Somia. I already know a few of the people who were uh, preparing from a long time, and I'm really, really glad that you had this uh, courage to join the study group at the correct time. And I'm sure, I'm sure this time you are going to uh, clear the exam with really good score. So let us start with the introduction of the exam, which is MRCOG one, and let us start with this discussion that what is MRCOG one? Obviously you have joined this uh, course, but you should know, you should have a sound knowledge that what exam you are going to take. So this MRCOG one is actually the membership of RCOG. Okay, they have fellowship exams and they have membership exams. And we have this MRCOG part one, which is the first entrance exam in the membership. Uh, if you want to take, you become a member of uh, RCOG, you have to take this part one. Then we have two other parts, MRCOG part two and three. And when we talk about this MRCOG one only, it also has two other parts. Okay, if you are looking at the screen, you can see that when you will be taking exam, there will be part one with 100 questions, and then there will be part two with 100 questions, a total of 200 questions in your actual exam. So what happens, they give you uh, 100 questions for 2.5 hours and then there will be a break and then you will take another set of the questions. So what happens, how they make the questions, they make questions from all the subjects. Okay, there is a, there is a good question division which I will upload in your study room and we will study, we will prepare for the exam according to that. One thing which I want to tell you is that what is SBA, okay? It's called single best answers, single best answers. That means you are provided with the statement of a question and then you will be provided with the options, sometimes four and mostly five. From those five options, you have to select one best, one single best answer, okay? When we will practice in the study room, we will study this way. We will practice a lot and a lot of SBAs, okay? Everyone, has got this uh, thing that what are SBAs? You can you can just write in the chat box, doctors. Uh, 
okay great and there is no negative marking so we keep on telling students that you have to solve all 200 questions when you attend the exam you have to solve all 200 questions passing percentage is also not fixed that means you are not um, you cannot say that it's uh, 60 percent or 65 or 67 every year this passing percentage is has been changed and last time in the last january exam it was 68 percent which is around 70 percent and i think uh, from the previous years the percentages just keep on increasing and i think now the students they have to work more and more on their <coughs> educational skills and this exam is scheduled only two times in a year and and uh, this is january and july and one very important thing is that all information, all the information regarding exam, regarding booking, regarding deadlines, everything is available on their official RCOG website. And there will be a webinar on it. I will tell you that how to book your exam and how to make an account on the RCOG website and then how to get the eligibility because we have got the dates for January 2024. If you're already following uh, the website, that's great. But if you're not following the website, just go through the official RCOG website today, this is very, very important. We keep on updating students about uh, the announcement and the deadlines and everything regarding exam. But as a student, as a candidate, it's very important for you uh, to, to take an account uh, and to take responsibility uh, for getting the knowledge for everything. Now we will discuss about some questions uh, you are looking at the screen and you can uh, understand that these are very common questions and they they come from the students actually. Uh, I have not uh, made these questions. The students help me organizing these questions at one place because these are the questions students keep on asking and uh, I thought why, why shouldn't we discuss them in the first session so that you are aware of these answers. So. How many of you think that MRCOG is, an, is a difficult exam? Yes, doctors. How many of you think that MRCOG is quite difficult exam? <laughs> Dr. Hedy thinks and Dr. Somia also. Okay. Actually, exam is always difficult when you don't prepare or else you have no knowledge about the syllabus that means you are preparing but you are preparing the wrong syllabus uh, one thing i want to clear at this time that uh, this is like a good news for you all that exam is now not difficult for the students of my exam yes it is difficult when you don't have the knowledge or for the syllabus or when you don't have the time for the preparation or else you are just not preparing. So what I can tell you is that when you prepare in a study room with the help of the mentors, in the guidance of the mentors who are, in, who are like an expert uh, of all the education related to MRCOG, they will not let you prepare wrong things. They will not um, give you wrong syllabus. So yes, exam is difficult but now it's easy because you have joined a good study place yes dr najmo uh, i totally agree with you that if a person is so much busy in the job and the family responsibilities it's very difficult to make time for the preparation but this is how we have organized the syllabus of our course. This regular course is organized only for those students who are so much busy with their duties and they are so much busy with their kids and family responsibilities that they cannot find time to read a lot of books and find the answers of a lot of questions. So what we do, we make things easy for them and we help them saving their times for the study. Okay. Now, next question is how much preparation is enough? So I have told you already, six months is a good time period for any student who wants to take the exam. But sometimes uh, some students who are already done with the studies and they have a good sound approach on the basics, they take only three months to prepare.
Dr. Safina has raised a very good point. She's talking about a targeted study. That's good. Today's session, the name of today's session is orientation session. This orientation session is only about MRCOG. We are not talking about MRCP, MRCS, FCPS, or any other exam. So this is very important for you to understand that orientation for syllabus is very important. We will strictly, strictly solve questions about OPS and gyne and related to MRCOG one only. We will not discuss and solve questions from all the exams because we want to get knowledge. No, this is not how it works when you are taking post-graduation exams. Okay, Dr. Safina, thank you for uh, participating in the discussion. Another question. And actually these days when students are going to take July exams, I'm, I'm receiving this query a lot and a lot from the students who are so much anxious and panic these days because there is exam in just one week and now actually just two days left. Uh, and this time students are asking if it's enough that I uh, only prepared the recalls files or is this enough if I only prepared the past papers? This is a, uh, and how many past papers <laughs> they will ask in the paper. So what I say, I'm, I'm not the one organizing your paper. So how can I tell you what is the percentage of your repeated questions? But definitely there are important questions regarding MRCOG and they uh, keep repeating things from the previous papers also. But that doesn't mean that uh, they totally, totally repeat their papers and uh, solving only the recalls is enough for the exam. So this is something uh, which comes from a student who do not believe, who doesn't believe in a thing which we call um, Toro study and organized study. And uh, they take this risk and they definitely follow this technique that they do only the recalls and then they face the worst result also. And I don't believe in this thing. There are questions like 20 to 30%, sometimes 40%, which are repeated in the exam, but not much. So you have to prepare for every kind of exam. Then there is another question from the student. Can I prepare the exam with a full-time job and kids? Yes. When you are preparing with med exam, when you are preparing at a study place, which is giving you everything easy, which is giving you everything updated, which is helping you solving the questions, then you can clear the exam uh, with the full-time job and kids. Now we will discuss about the best books for the exam. We have some good theory books, Oxford Revision Notes and Essential Revision Guide. These two books, I would say they are best for study. If you want to study on your own from these books, then that, it's great. But what, one thing I would say that once we have uh, the live session, the phase two, you don't have to really follow these books. Why? Because these books are not updated. The Oxford Revision Notes, we got this book in 2011, and I guess the Essential Revision Guide, we had this book in 2015. That means there are a lot of updates and there are a lot of uh, updated research. So we can say that uh, everything is updated in these books. So in our sessions, in our live sessions, what we do and in a study room as well, we keep correcting these mistakes. So when you are following a book, always keep in mind that it's updated or not. And one important thing, which is like a good news for you that all important SBAs are covered in your course. So you don't have to buy any SBA sources like Parsimar, Soji, Strategy. You don't have to pay for that because I will share all the questions from these sources in the study groups. And like Catherine and um, others like Ankush and uh, any other book you can say, I have uh, collected all the MCQs, uh, all the SBAs in the study rooms and you will be provided with them so you don't have to worry about uh, getting the subscriptions of others SBA sources. Dr. Safina, uh, now there is a difference of opinion in that term that uh, if I am a person, I am a very lazy person, I don't want to study, then I will take like two to three hours in reading just one topic and there will be a person who loves to study. So what he will do, he will cover the whole chapter in just one hour. So 
you can't say that how much time is appropriate for giving to um, the study, but I would say consistency is everything you need. Time or hours, there is no limit, but consistency, reading daily, studying daily, trying your best every day is all you can, okay? Now, there is one very important question that there are a lot of students who are fresh graduates and they step in MRCOG and then they find the course very difficult and they keep asking that if they have not worked in the ops dining uh, clinicals or the labor room or the surgeries, then can they pass the exam? So it's a big yes because in the part one, everything is theoretical, okay? Your clinical knowledge gives you uh, an edge. It gives you a benefit. It gives you uh, like if you are treating the patients of UTI, then you have a question uh, about the treatment of the UTI, then it's easy for you. So clinical knowledge makes the exam easy for you, but it's not impossible. Uh, like you can't say that one person, if it's a fresh graduate, he cannot clear the exam. So if you have no or less clinical experience regarding MRC, uh, sorry, ox tiny, then what you can do, you can put in a lot of effort uh, for the uh, in the study material and you have to solve a lot of questions and uh, then I would say if you are now in a position to start working in Obscani go for that because clinical experience is a good thing it's a vintage but if you don't have this experience don't worry you can still clear the exam which I'm only talking about part one here other parts we will talk about them later <coughs> sorry then how much experience is required for part two and part three? So there is an update from RCOG that for part two, you don't have to submit any clinical experience to RCOG, but for part three, they assess, uh, they, they assess your training, which is at least four years in ops kind. Specialty training is required, four years of specialty training is required uh, before taking part three. And that's a very important point. If you are stepping in uh, MRCOG, you are taking part one, then you should have a plan for part three as well. And if you start the clinical um, clinical experience now, it will be really, really good. I have some very valuable recommendations for you. And uh, I want one of the students to read this slide for all of us that, um, you understand that how I want students to study and what are my recommendations for the students who are joining the course. Dr. Safina, you want to uh, you want to participate and read this slide for all of us? Okay, Dr. Seba, we will discuss this also. Yes. Who wants to read the slide? Just turn on your mic and start it. Okay, I can see. Yes, please, Dr. Smith. Um, okay, you have to study daily. Believe in yourself. Be an active student in study groups. Always discuss difficult topics in groups. Do not read a lot of theory books. Do not join a lot of social media groups. Remember about your aim every day and work hard for it. Help yourself and help others. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So students, we have some uh, handful of advices from a person who is dealing with a lot of students. Like uh, in every batch, we have every kind of student we have lazy students, we have intelligent students, we have students who are so much worried about their studies, but they are not studying well. We have students who are not worried at all, but they are studying well. So we deal with a lot and a lot of students. And if you are getting advices, a handful of advices from a person who is meeting and talking to students daily, that means those advices are very important for you to consider. So I have uh, written a lot of things, but I will discuss only two points. I have written that do not read a lot of theory books. This is true for SBS books also. You don't have to prepare from 
a lot and a lot of books for this exam. You have to prepare from just one or two sources only. And now Saba has already told us that she will only follow the course material. That's totally fine. That's all. That's totally safe. If you don't want to read the books, don't go for it. Only follow the course material and you will you will do very best in the exam. Why I'm suggesting you this thing? Because many students have already a good knowledge about the basics. They only need the orientation, they only need the important points and they go through them and they clear the exam very easily. But if you are a person who is not so well in the basics and if you are a person who is like, um, who has little knowledge and nothing, uh, consider nothing, it's, it happened to me as well, just like we are talking about running angiotensin system. So this this topic, particular topic is, quite difficult for me every time when I'm solving the question about it. So it's a very simple topic for a lot of students, but it's a difficult topic for me because my brain just don't seem to get that information easily. So what I do every time I come across a question uh, from the Renin Angiotensin system, I go to the book and I read the topic. So it's particularly important for me to read a difficult topic, which is just and just difficult for me, which is difficult for me only. Okay, now if you are getting this point, you will understand that you don't have to open the book for everything. You have to open the book for those topics only which are difficult for you. Okay, now if the course content seems to be appropriate and sufficient for you, and if you think that all the things given in the course are easily understandable for me, and I can go with that, and I can solve the questions with that, that's fine. Otherwise, pick a theory book and read for your own knowledge, okay? That's fine, Dr. Samina, welcome to the session. Dr. Anjali is saying all study material will be given in the PDF form. Yes, we are going to visit the website and after this discussion and I will tell you how we will provide you the uh, study material. I will say, uh, do not do this unnecessary thing of printing out the material. Actually, either it's allowed or not. It's not discussion. But why would you do something which will um, which is not required? Uh, I will tell you how to how to understand and how to uh, how to memorize the things in a way that you don't have to print them out and you don't have to uh, you know uh, keep the record for the future. Now let's take a good visit uh, to our website. Let me just uh, log in. Tell me, are you all given the website? You have made an account on the Red Exam website, right? Doctors? Everybody has got an account on the website, right? Okay, this is the website for you. In my portal, you can see a lot of things, but a new joiner cannot get everything at this time because you are only provided with the free course activities. Okay. This is the pre-course activities schedule. This is the phase one of your study. This is the phase one of your regular course. And you can see that we have the lectures from different topics. They are recorded ones and I have given you a schedule. I have updated the schedule in your study room. Everyone should have that schedule. Everyone should have an account. Okay, Dr. Saba, that's fine. If you can't interact, you can keep on texting from this chat box. 
And we have another query. Dr. Iram is saying for MRCOG three turning of four years or four years or two years or yes. Dr. Iram, I have got your concern. I can guide you in this that uh, specialty experience is required. If you are an if you are a medical officer in OPS kind of specialty, that's fine. But the hospital should be like tertiary care where you can take the surgeries also and there's a good labor room because your experience will help you in clearing the part three as well. So if your experience is a strong one, then you can go with that. And definitely you, you send the experience before part three, before taking part three, you send the experience and they assess you if you can take the MRCOG3 or not. So I would say go for a hospital. Um, from which you can show the experience easily so guys this is the this is the uh, pre-course material phase one material you can see we have pdfs also we have re recordings also i can play one for you like this calcium hemostasis homeostasis and you can see that uh, there is a recording which you can play easily And then you have the PDF as well for your revision. So on your website, everything is given this way, okay? On your website, everything is given this way. Probably I'm running a lot of things, so it's taking a little time. To upload okay that's fine if you are taking surgeries and it's a good hospital like the care hospital then you can show the experience easily okay uh, i would say dr anjali I would say talk to the team, talk to the admin team. They will help you making an account and everyone should have this website and this, this, uh, these all the recordings should be with you because from tomorrow we are going to start uh, the discussion on that. And after making an account on the website, the important thing is that you, are, you should be a part of your study room, which is on the Telegram. And you, I guess uh, you are already, uh, uh, you have joined that. And another thing which is very important, uh, which is you should have the, the uh, sorry, the schedule, the schedule, which is for uh, the phase one. Now, I will show you how there will be in the sessions recording also. Uh, after this phase one, we will start. Physiology, endocrinology, genetics, pharmacology, microbiology, anatomy, embryology, immunology, petro, biochemistry, clinical management, bastards workshop, and stats question answer practice. So you can see we covered all the subjects in the form of live sessions. In this in this form, you will be uh, sitting with the mentor live, or just like we are sitting today. And you will attend the session. You can ask a question from the topics, and sometimes the subjects have like two sessions. If the subjects are long, we, we cover them in two sessions. Sometimes sub subjects are covered in one session only. And this is how you go for this. Then we have uh, these topic tests. After this live session, we will be attending this topic test. And uh, we will give you a test to solve. And there will be a particular date which will be given to you so for solving this test. And then we collect the scores also. And we keep on assessing your performance in the topic test. So every time a person is taking a course in every subject, we keep on recording that the person is doing well or not. But at this time, the discussion will be only in the study room, which is given to you, which is on the Telegram. So this is a website and you are given with um, pre-course activities. Pre-course activities means you have the recordings from all the subjects on the important topics and you will play one or two recordings every day and then we will discuss the important questions in the study room, which is on the Telegram. So is the structure clear? 
Is this okay for everyone? Yes, Mr. Mesh. Okay, good. I will give you a brief introduction about the mentors who are going to teach you in your batch. We have Dr. Mohammed Hilmi. He is our senior mentor, he is our lead mentor, and he will teach you most of the subjects. Then we have our senior mentor, Dr. Desiree. And Dr. Desiree teaches you um, biostatistics and microbiology. And trust me, these two subjects are super easy for the students after taking the sessions from Dr. Desiree. Both our senior mentors are uh, so good uh, in nature. They are so they are so expert. They are so skilled in teaching that uh, when you uh, will when you will uh, interact with them, when you will uh, get a chance to uh, you know have a live session with them you will remember my words that we have the best faculty around i'm your moderator also moderator of the group means that i will be sharing the questions and i will be answering the queries in your study room which is on the telegram and i try my best to answer as soon as possible but sometimes uh, there is a delay and i guess everyone uh, everyone can understand the situation of others too so uh, this is something uh, like your second home your study room is like your second home. I will be with you in your second home for the rest of the time. And we will be studying daily. One thing which I will assure you is that we will be so consistent. We will be so active in our study room that we will make that place a best place for uh, the study of MRCOG. Okay, good. So... <clears throat> What you find in your study room, we have a very good admin team with us. Like just now, Dr. Anjali is saying that she has a problem in making or in getting herself registered on the website. So what admin team will do, she will talk to her, she will call her through the text messages. She will help, uh, she will get this help for making this account. And 24 hours support by the moderators and the mentors as well, you will get in the study room. We have a discussion hour, and at this time, I'm thinking about uploading the questions. I will say that uh, anyone can participate in the discussion any time of the day. We will not uh, limit it for just one hour only. What I will do, I will upload the questions in the form of the polls. Then everyone will be providing the answers, and the uh, and polls are very easy to uh, solve and you can't see the answers of the others. So there is no like ABCD, a lot of ABCD in the group and there will be limited number of uh, messages in the group. So it, it will be very easy to find the questions and their answers. Then I will upload the answers of those questions uh, at the same moment I upload the questions. So it will be a very good discussion. But even after then, if you have any query, you can, you can send the message any time of the day. Uh, like 24 hours the group is open for you okay then i've told you that we keep on updating students about all the important announcements and uh, discussion all on important topics and questions we use study room for this thing and you have the access to your study room till your exam actually till your result so what i am giving you is that this information is very important for you about the study room. But why I'm giving you this information because I'm telling you that study room will be your second home. Study room will be your second home for the rest of uh, the preparation time. Okay. So if you have not joined the study room, if you are planning to just only go through the live sessions and do not, you are not uh, thinking about taking part in the discussion sessions, or if you are not thinking about um, solving the questions in the study room. This is like you are you are just wasting your money which you have paid to a course. So this is a very important feature that you have to you have to be very active in the study room. And one thing I will tell you, the students who are active, who are actively taking part in the discussions in the study room, they tend to get highest scores in the exam as well because uh, there is there is a law, there is a rule that if you are reading only uh, alone in your in your home, then you can't retain a lot. But if you are reading in a group, you are studying and you are discussing the questions, then it's more likely that your memory will work more and more for you and you will retain more information uh, than the other method. 
so what i will say just take your first step of the preparation tomorrow uh, i will uh, give you a set of questions i will guide you in the study room how to play the session and how to uh, get the important points from that session and i've shown you the website as well we have pre recorded lectures then we have the live sessions as well yes to really study room is the telegram group so the live sessions which like today we are going live but there will be a recording and that recording will be present on your portal then we have the pdf files and the recorded lectures of for everything Topic test I have guided you already. Past papers file. This is a very important feature that you will be provided with all years past papers from 2015 to 2023, and they will they are solved and they have all the correct keys as well. And then we discuss these past papers in the study room as well. Flashcards are also available for you. Mock exams I have told you, and assessment of your progress. This is a very important thing that I keep on looking on all the students because I just don't uh, let them study alone. I keep on following them. I provide uh, my personal number to them because I'm the moderator. I'm the moderator of the group. So what I do, I keep on discussing and interacting with the students. So the best thing is that you get the number, you get the official number of uh, customer support and get the official number of mine from the team and you you keep interacting, you keep talking about your study and you keep telling me about your progress and you have this support, this help and this, um, you know, this best course of this world uh, till you pass your exam. Now we have uh, one student, Dr. Najmo. Dr. Najmo is like my dear friend also. And uh, after joining this course, I'm so happy that um, uh, soon, the exam will be cleared. Dr. Nesmo, how you have found the uh, technical team and other people who are the part of the med exam team and uh, you are interacting with them from a long time. Have you found any difficulty while talking to them? And if uh, I just want to ask if they are helpful or not. I'm telling you to guide other students so that they understand the importance of having a uh, support 24 hours. Okay, Dr. David, um, team will contact you. Thank you so much, Dr. Samina, uh, for these kind words. I'm so obliged for these so uh, beautiful words. Thank you so much. As I've told you, we have a team of mentors. We have a team of technical staff as well. That means that um, this is this is just the teamwork. And uh, I would say if you are being served by a whole team, that means it's more good than um, just getting uh, taught by one person. Anyways, thank you so much. I guess Dr. Najmo is not with us, but in the study room, I will I definitely am, yeah, ask. I oh, oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. I am I'm very happy. To join this group, uh, you know, um, all the friends. Uh, I have a lot of uh, problems. I want to, every time I like to prepare, but there is uh, some technical problems. But today, this time, Alhamdulillah, I would like to be part of this channel to support, inshallah. And I'm very happy. Um, I wish she's one of the best uh, moderator and a many exam expert. She support me many times. Also, she gave me more encouragement to continue my exam. So I like, I'm very happy, I'm very happy. And she's one of the uh, best moderators in here. Because if she almost uh, follow you, you are, whether you are uh, reading your uh, daily activities or how, how's your going is, she asks you more questions. So I'm very happy. Thank you very much. Nice. Thank you so much. This was a very detailed response. Thank you so much, Dr. Nesmo. Why I'm emphasizing on this thing because I've seen a lot of students, they find it difficult to follow the website, they find it difficult to follow the study room and what they do, they suffer in their studies. They, they stop asking for the help just because they are not used to it. And if you just keep on asking for the help in every problem, if it's minor or 
major uh, you can uh, you can get a, an instant help because i know the technical team the admin team is so good in providing the help and uh, i'm sure they don't they don't leave the students alone in any kind of situation either it's exam booking either it's your um, website making or uh, account making on the uh, website or either it's your uh, problem with uh, your study room anything happens to you just talk to the customer service and you can talk to me directly and you will find the instant help and that means you are not wasting time and you are saving your precious time for the studies dr hedi you can open the study material from the app and the website both okay if you have any other question you can ask me we had like uh, three off days uh, for Eid, I wish all of you, all the Muslims, uh, a very happy Eid. Enjoy the holidays, and uh, from tomorrow, from tomorrow, uh, we will uh, start studying in the group. Also, keep your hopes high, keep your attitude very positive towards the study. Small steps and uh, small, consistent steps. That's all you need. Okay. One thing that you have to keep in mind, you have to be very, very consistent. I don't want you to study everything in just one day. I don't want you to study everything in just one month. I want you to be consistent in all these seven, eight, seven months, okay? Thank okay. you so much. Um, okay, team will help you in this. There will be an eligibility form which you will fill in and then you will attach your medical degree and then you will send it to our COD. Dr. Anjali, I'm saying that I'm not fixing the timings for the students because we are from different countries. We have different time zones. So what you can do, you can um, just take part in the studies anytime you want. Anytime you want means I will be sharing the questions like before 2 p.m. Pakistan time. That's my office time. So it's very easy for me to share the questions. The questions will not be much. They will be five to seven or just 10 and then you will solve those questions. And if you have still queries about those questions, you can post your queries any time of the day. And I will try my best to answer your questions um, in, in that day. Okay. And have, no. you got the, have you got the schedule already, everyone? Hello. Yes, yes. Yeah, me, sister. Okay, do one thing, make sure that you have an account on the website, then you will make sure that you're a part of your study room. And third thing is that you have to make sure that uh, you have got the schedule for your phase one. That's all. These three steps you have to take. And yes, schedule is provided in the TED exam already. Hello. Hello. Yes, Dr. Nijmo. Yeah, yeah. And I have seen a new app. Uh, so how can we use the app? Okay. Uh, you will download the app, then you will make an account, and then uh, I'm telling one of the technical team person to assist you in this, okay? Yes, I have already downloaded, but I see. I, I don't see the daily activity, like the free courses, the live situation is like, how we can use that? The schedule is given in the study room only and the recordings and the PDFs are available on the website and the application both. Okay, thank you. Hello. And if, yes. Yeah, thank you so much. Please, uh, I just want to get clarification as per the websites. I've logged in, but it's showing that I'm a learner, but it's still telling me that I do not belong to any study group. Then you mentioned the okay. app. I, I uh, can you uh, 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 give us the app so that I can download it? I hope it's compatible with both Android and uh, iPhone so that I can yes, use it for any of the okay. It's compatible okay, for so both. what would be the password for the what uh, for the app? And also, I will appreciate it if the technical team can quickly help me set up my my study room or uh, all on the website so that I can start doing something. I want to be consistent, just as you suggested. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. David. I hope uh, you have joined the mid-exam and you will find 
the whole team quite best and helpful uh, for the rest of your study period. And uh, make sure you all have this uh, customer service support number. Uh, someone is with me in the session, please update your uh, customer support service number in the chat box so everyone can save it and we will share this in your study room as well. I will share my official number on uh, in the study room as well, but that's not required because that's a WhatsApp number and I'm with you in the Telegram as well. So um, it's like <laughs> there is no need for getting the WhatsApp number and the Telegram both. We are with you for uh, the whole for the whole day and night. I would say some of the team members are technical team members. I would say I feel so blessed to have them around because they are so helpful for the students, not only for the students, they are helpful for me as well. And sometimes I just wonder they sleep or not because they are 24 hours active and they keep on helping students instantly and so promptly that I'm blessed to have them. So thank you so much, uh, whole um, technical team and admin team. And thank you so much everyone for attending today's session. Thank you so much for uh, your appreciation and your kind words students uh, with a lot of motivation, with a lot of positive energy and with a lot of um, excitement, we will start uh, our course for MRC OG1 from tomorrow. Okay, can we, can we close the session now? Or if there is any other question? Sorry, I'm very late online. Can you record it if not? Yes, it will be recorded and the recording will be with you on your portal. Thank you, Dr. Somia. Thank you. I will share the customer service line in your study room, okay? Hello, Dr. Haley. Yes, from tomorrow we will start studying. You have got the schedule already. You can see which lecture to play from the website. You have seen the website as well. All right. Thank you so much, dears. If you have any other query, you can. Dr. Heli, Dr. Kubra, you have to go to the study room, which is on the Telegram, and you have to get your schedule that's in the form of PDF file, and you will download it, and then you will keep it with you for the rest of the phase one. And this is the number, and uh, numbers being shared uh, from the team as well. Please save it with you. Thank you, thank you. So if you are not, able to trace your schedule that means you have to spend some time in the study room you have to understand how telegram works how you can find the documents in that how you can find the files and how you will solve the questions there i have already shared a few polls just for you to understand how polls questions work in the telegram but now i will share more questions and i if there is any other query i will uh, ask team thank you thank you Inshallah, we will work hard and get very good score in the exam. So I will request team to share the schedule in the study room again so that everyone can get it and start the study on time. Okay, students, we are now 